All right, here's my 2022 update to the 10 best acoustic guitars under 500. I should call this the uh, inflation edition. I had to update it because prices have gone up on a few, and I found some new guitars to recommend so you can still get in at that price point. If that sounds good to you, before you leave, give this video a, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'd really be, a, I'd be forever grateful. And please leave reviews below of what you're playing. I want to hear from you. So, coming in at number 10 is a new one for me. It's the Donner DAG-1C, and it is a deal you can't beat. After I played this, a setup like this for the money is ridiculous. It's under $160 delivered, and it has everything. A tuner, a case, a strap, a capo. It plays and sounds nice, and you just can't go wrong. If you're just starting out, this is, this is awesome. All right. Number nine is the Epiphone Songmaker DR100 acoustic guitar. I was really impressed with the volume of this dreadnought sized body, and the one I played was set up really well. If you're looking for an excellent starter in value, this Epi is definitely worth checking out. And I remember them being under 200 bucks as well. Again, the links are below. And remember, I do recommend with the lower end starter guitars, have a teacher or a player or a friend that plays, take a look at the action and check them out for dead frets. It just happens sometimes with quality control on some of the lower price instruments, but they're so much better at it now than when I was a kid. All right, next up, number eight is the Yamaha FG800. This guitar is a great example of a classic acoustic. It's light, balanced, comfortable to play, and it has great tone and volume. I think they're under 220 still. Number seven is the Ibanez Artwood Dreadnought Acoustic Electric Cutaway. It's the AW54CE, that's the model I played, and always check as Ibanez makes a million models. But this is really cool, it had great action, it just was great to play, and it was under $350 and it got high marks. Number six is the Martin LX1E, and an amazing little guitar that has incredibly balanced tone. The bass response for acoustic of this size was crazy. Some call these travelers, but don't let the size fool you, this is a serious musical instrument. And just to add note, a few of the models like the Ibanez and this next one have built-in pickups, but I would, that's not what I based my ranking on. I'm judging them by playability and sound and the price point as acoustics, okay. Number five is the Ovation CE44. Ovation has made these for over 50 years and you can tell. This one features their patented comfort curve back and has a great neck and excellent action. For those of you that have learned to play on an electric and are moving to an acoustic, Ovations have always been a favorite. All right, number four is the Ibanez Artwood AVD9. The action on this was excellent. A great neck, but the sound is what really impressed me. They call it a Thermo H top, but whatever it is, I love it. And it was still under 500 bucks from what I saw. Okay, next is number three, and that's the Yamaha FG840. I was super impressed with the volume and tone. This model has a beautiful solid top, maple back and sides. You know, for decades, Yamaha has made great guitars, kind of under the rain radar, but players know. The vintage have really appreciated. Number two is the Seagull S6 original. If you've not heard of Seagulls yet, go try one. They do not feel or play like any lower end guitar these are like professional instruments every time i play one i want one you know they just don't cut corners that seagull was close to taking over my number one spot but this year i'm going with the gill jumbo junior reserve it's got gorgeous flame maple back and sides mother of pearl block inlays this warm tone and surprising volume this year the guild unseats my two-time champion the taylor academy and that's because inflation has driven the tailors up so high that they they don't fall in like yeah you got it so again there it is i hope all this helps and remember if you're thinking of buying soon click the down arrow i have links below to the guitars and their reviews by real players and people who have purchased these they're really good to review and then do your research and if you have any questions Hey, put them in the comments below, you'll be surprised. I'll answer you and so will uh, about 20 other people who will all have opinions because guitarists all have opinions. Hey, check it out, thanks again, and I will, till we stream again. That was really cheesy, but I liked it.